ان الحمد لله نعمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته you welcome to this amazing episode of i beauty ramadan tv series i still remain your girl Maryam Ibrahim and I have with me here Abdurrahman Idris. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, Maryam? So yes, um the fun fair spirit is still in the air. Yes, yeah, still you in the air. There's a few days count down now to the fun fair and you all can't wait to see you there. There's a whole lot that will be going down there. So if you're not there that day on the day of Eid and the day after Eid, you are really missing out. I don't think you want to be anywhere else. It's only if you're in Lagos. Uh So for those living far away at the other end of Lagos, you know, we have those in the Korodu, one end, those on the island, another end. So okay, no problem. You guys don't need to cross. We'll be having one for you at the Fun Factory that's at Lekki and a Fun Park for those at the Korodu. So there is no excuse. You have anywhere to go on the mainland or the highland. And for those of us that are not in Lagos, far away, anywhere, or even if you're in Alaska, you're in Russia, anywhere you are, you can join us online. And for families and friends that are outside Lagos, far away from Lagos, anywhere around the globe at all, even if you're in Alaska, you are in Texas, anywhere you are at all, even if it's Russia, we're here for you. You can join us online with your families and friends, and you will not miss a thing at all. You're going to keep in touch with all the funs and games and you're going to participate in them as well. The cooking competitions, the um I charade, you know, the sack game, everything. Tug of war, Trust me. Bouncing castle. Bouncing castle in fact. Ferris wheel. A whole lot. A whole lot. You are not going to miss a thing. And for those coming physically, the fee is 2000 naira flat rate but then you get a chance to have 25% discount that's 500 naira discount if you pay from now up to the morning of eid how interesting right so just send a message to the number displayed on your screen to book your ticket now you do not want to miss the fun fair at all so as usual we will be starting this episode with the recitation of the glorious quran by ustaz ubaidullah And this is probably sponsored and brought to you by Fabian's Petroleum in honor of our late father Al Haji Fatai Bemi Salami Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala forgive him grant him jannah to fill those Amen Right after that will be the Mufti Men lecture series and he'll be giving us verses of hope and healing in the Holy Quran I'm pretty sure so far those that have been following you've gotten a whole lot of meaning a whole lot of sense of meaning from what he has been teaching us so far So uh, let's you know hang in there with him and we'll see you right after don't go nowhere a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الارض وهو العزيز الحكيم يا ايها الذين امنوا لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون كبر مقتا عند الله ان تقولوا ما لا تفعلون ان الله يحب الذين يقاتلون في سبيله صفا يقاتلون في سبيله صفا كانهم بنيان مرصوص وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ لِمَ تُؤْذُونَنِي وَقَدْ تَعْلَمُونَ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الْكَافِرِينَ وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى ابْنُ مَرْيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ 
إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَاةِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ iPhones, iPads, iMacs, MacBooks, headphones, speakers, games, accessories. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My brothers and sisters, sometimes Allah protects us from an enemy without us knowing when that enemy had actually planned our downfall and probably began to execute that plan and Allah stops them in their tracks and we didn't know we were resting, we were sleeping This happens when you develop a good relationship with Allah and when you pray what is known as your adhkar, your the remembrance of Allah or al-mu'awwidat, those verses and prayers, supplications of protection in Allah from harm and from shaitan on a daily basis. Every morning, every evening, you must make sure you read Ayatul Kursi, or you read, for example, the, the last uh, three surahs of the Quran, You make sure that you read some of the supplications taught by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and Allah at times will give you such protection that you will be amazed. Now, the verse I want to talk about is actually uh, the gift of Allah that's mentioned in verse number 11 of Surah Al-Ma'idah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إذ هم قوم أن يبسطوا إليكم أيديهم فكف أيديهم عنكم واتقوا الله وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون Amazing. I start off at the end. Allah says, واتقوا الله which means and be conscious of Allah. Develop the correct relationship with Allah. And if you are true believers, you should lay your trust in Allah. So what's the beginning of the verse? Allah says, oh, you who believe, remember the favor of Allah upon you. When there were a people who were, who had intended to harm you and they actually planned it and had started the execution of the plan. You know, they, they wanted to stretch their arm of harm against you. And Allah says, we blocked that arm. We stopped it. We, we caused it to cease. Their lives are a mess. They will always be a mess, without exception. If you are used to cursing people, and you're not justified in that, definitely you will find your life would be probably the biggest misery. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So in order to extend a hand of hope, and in order to heal, let's seek the forgiveness of Allah. Let's stop. Let's start praying a good prayer for people. Because I will tell you what happens. When you pray for people, the angels say, Oh Allah, give this person similar to what they've asked for the other. Make sure it's a good thing. Oh Allah, bless them. Oh Allah, grant goodness. Oh Allah, give them sustenance. The angels are saying, give this person sustenance as well. What a great blessing. 
I'd love that supplication of the angels for me. So in that particular uh, case, I'm going to pray as much as I can positively for others. When you see people going astray, pray for their guidance. So Allah will grant you guidance. But when you see people going astray and your business is to curse them, number one, and to start spreading rumor about them or gossip or just whatever it may be, backbiting about them because it's true. So to be honest, in that case, what would happen? One day, people will have the opportunity to do the same about you. Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. So, like I said, in order to heal, we must repent to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, remember the favors of Allah upon you. Remember the favors of Allah upon you. You know, there are so many things Allah's blessed us with. Take a look at the Quran. Allah's given us such a great blessing and the ni'mah of the Quran. This Quran, if we look at it, uh, the verses are so powerful that we should be brought to tears by the verses of the Quran. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to us about the iman, the strength of belief. Those who believe, the Quran will move them. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ The believers are the ones when Allah is mentioned, their hearts tremble. And when the verses of Allah are recited, you know, it, it strengthens their belief, their conviction, their iman. It strengthens them completely. Look at the uh, Najashi, the negus of Abyssinia. When the verses were read uh, of Surah Maryam, he was crying. He had tears roll down his cheeks. And Allah says, وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ تَرَى أَعْيُنَهُمْ تَفِيضُ مِنَ الدَّمْعِ مِمَّا عَرَفُوا مِنَ الْحَقِّ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا فَاكْتُبْنَا مَعَ الشَّاهِدِينَ when, when they heard the verses of the Qur'an being recited, that which was revealed to the Prophet, peace be upon him, be recited, their eyes filled with tears, subhanAllah, because they recognized the truth and they said, O oh our Lord, we have believed. So write our names from among those who have borne witness. Now, that itself is healing. To listen to the Qur'an is amazing. It will heal you. Just listen to a beautiful reciter who recites beautifully. The recitation that is melodious, that soothes your system. There are so many different types of readers. You listen to a beautiful reciter and subhanAllah, it will bring you to tears. It will give you so much of comfort. It will heal the broken soul. Just the recitation of the Quran has in it so much of healing. Listen to it and listen to it often. We should be replacing all other uh, audios uh, within our cars and everywhere else with the Quran. And something beneficial. Something beneficial. Inshallah, in that way, we would never regret how we spent our time. May Allah grant us the true sweetness of this Qur'an. May He heal our souls and our hearts through this blessed word of His, the Qur'an. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the midst of cacophony of private and public schools, very few meet the desired needs of discerning Muslim parents in the areas of education, morals, and spirituality. Atanzil Schools believes that education is total and an all-round development of the brain, body, mind, and soul, and we have uniquely blended Islamic and secular learning with uncommon mastery. Atanzil Schools is full boarding with superb academic, human, and caregiving resources. Parents who experience Atanzil Schools have attested to the versatility of our pupils, the dedication of our staff, and the the meticulousness of our management. We have held numerous awards in both Quranic and secular competitions. The standard is world class. The fees are pocket friendly. Come on, let's nurture the children that will comfort your eyes and give you sakina in your old age. At Tanzil Schools is located in Valley View Estate after Waik Office in Bute Bubui Kurudu, Lagos. Admission is on. Call now 0810-589-1274. Email info at atanzilschools.com. At Tanzil Schools, nurturing tomorrow's leaders. <laughs> Wa 
Introducing Yala, a new digital platform that offers easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala, Hajj and Umrah, the easy way. So welcome back from that very illuminating segment with Mufti Mink and Ustaf Ubeidullah Muhammad Isa. So um, before we go further, don't forget um, our Eid Fun Fair is still coming right up. Alhamdulillah, that this time around we are actually able to say we want to have a physical you know, interaction. I remember last year where it wasn't, we didn't have that opportunity. We had to do it online and everybody had fun. So this year we're giving you physical and online. It promises to be massive. You don't want to miss it. So that's like Get your ticket fun. as soon as possible. So right about now, we'll be having the health tips where we'll be giving you some um, information regarding how to optimize your health and also some tips from our instructor, Ali, with some routines that can help you also keep in shape and keep fit. After that, we'll be having Light Up on Lights by Allah Jagani at Akorede. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless her and guide her all the way and us too. Allah. And then after that, we'll have I Business featuring Sterling Alternative Finance. Finance. Do not forget, Islam covers all your ways of life, including your finances. You are going to account how you have made your money, how you spent it. So we need to be, you know, sure of how we are actually getting our money. finances. It's a serious thing. It, it it's is. not something to joke about really at deal. all. So you want to do anything with your money at all, try to source for the halal, you know, income, halal money. So try to stay with us and enjoy the session. Don't go anywhere. We'll be with you shortly. My name as always is Rafia Majid Balogu and I say a very big welcome to you my viewer for joining me on today's edition of Health and Wellness on iBeauty brought to you as always by Yo-Yo Beaters. Now as you already know this is our segment we talk about health from beginning to end but let's kick start the session today with our fitness expert Ali. Stay with me and don't go anywhere. <music> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to yet another edition of Fitness on IBT TV show. I remain your host, Ali Olympio. On today's segment, we're doing something more interesting. We're going to go into um, a super set of core workouts. So we're combining leg raises and heel touches. Remember, in some episodes we did back then, I showed you how heel touches are done and leg raises. On this segment, we're gonna combine both. So we're gonna hit the mid, the lower region of your core muscle and the obliques. So you have a well-defined core. All right, so let's get to it straight up. So you go back on the floor. So you go on your heels first. So you touch heel taps. Yep. Then you go to leg raises. Remember your back flat on the floor. You take it up and down. Take it up and down. Make sure your legs are not touching. So after you've completed 10 reps, you come back to heel touch, still supersetting. So you're feeling the activation on your core muscle, your oblique muscle. So you go back, leg raises. All right, interesting, isn't it? So inshallah tomorrow, we keep improving on our exercises and workouts and we are going to give you the very best, inshallah. So I'll see you tomorrow. Ma salam. Hey, is your body yo-yo bitters compliant? 
What does that mean, you wonder? Well, it means do you take yo-yo bitters every day? Yo-yo bitters protects you against opportunistic infections. This means you either take yo-yo bitters as food supplement or as medicine recommended by your doctor. Yo-yo bitters is naturally enriched with ingredients that flushes out the body impurities, tackles waist pain, and resolves constipation. It is also fortified with vitamins that empower your body to perform at its optimum. Besides, yo-yo bitters contain minerals and it boosts your body immunity against diseases and free radicals. That's why yo-yo bitters is such a great companion to have around the home, office, and everywhere. Available in liquid, gel, and tablets. Get yours today from the nearest pharmacy or medicine store. Yo-yo bitters, a clean inside out. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to light upon light on I beauty الحمد لله رب العالمين today we're going to look at an ayah of the Quran that is said to be the heart of the Quran the ayah of the Quran is the one that someone told Abu Huraira anhu, about its greatness. You know, during the time of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Abu Huraira, you know, the one from whom we got a lot of hadith of the Prophet, was put in charge of Bayt al-Mal, you know, the treasury of the Muslims at that time. And then one night he saw a man sneak into the Bayt al-Mal and started stealing stuff. And he caught him, Abu Huraira caught him and said, He, holy thief, I'm going to take you to the Prophet. He said, Oh, please, please, please forgive me. I will never do this again. It's because my children are hungry. I don't mean to come and steal, but I need this for my children. Please, please forgive me. I will never come back again. So Abu Huraira, you know, became compassionate, you know, and he, he pitied him and he said, Okay, but make sure you don't come back again, okay? And the man left and he, he, he allowed him to take this stuff he took. So the, the following morning, he went to the Prophet and narrated the story to him. And the Prophet said, I bet you he's going to come back. And lo and behold, the following night, this thief came back again and started stealing stuff. And Abu Huraira caught him. And said, this time around, I'm taking you to the prophet. He begged again, please, please. Um, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. If, if, I promise you, this will be the last time. If I come again, if you catch me, take me to the prophet. My, my children are hungry. My family is hungry. So Abu Huraira let him go. He went and reported to the prophet again. And the prophet told him, I, <laughs> I tell you, and I'm going to tell you. I told you, and I'm going to tell you again. That man is a liar and he's a thief. He's going to come back. You will see. So the third night, the thief came back again and started stealing. And Abu Huraira caught him. He said, no matter what you say to me, I know you're a liar and you're a thief. And you're going to come back if I let you go. This time, I'm taking you to the prophet. He said, oh, please, if you take me to the prophet, it's going to destroy me. Please, 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 I won't come. He said, no, I'm not listening to you. Yalla, let's go. And he said, okay, 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 okay. Let, 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 I, I will teach you a prayer. And this prayer, if you say it, I will never be able to enter into this house again. Abu Hurairah looked at him and said, he said, I swear by Allah, Wallahi. Aha, Wallahi means this man is dead serious. He said, okay, teach me the prayer. He said, the prayer is, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم meaning Allah there is no God except him the ever living the sustainer of all that exists neither drowsiness or sleep overtakes him. neither drowsiness overtakes him nor sleep to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth 
Who is it that can intercede with him except by his permission? He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them. And they encompass not a thing of his knowledge except for what he wills. His crucie, his stool, his footstool extends over the heavens and the earth and their preservation tires him not. He takes care of the heavens and the earth and is not tired of doing so. And he is the most high, the most great. You will be protected. Your wealth will be protected. Your family will be, will be protected. If you don't know how to read Ayatul Kursi, please go and listen to it again and again till you memorize it and make sure you keep reciting it. I pray that Allah will accept our dua and will bless all our effort. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته مع السلامة إلى اللقاء. Casper gadgets store top deals iPhones iPads iMacs MacBooks Headphones, speakers, games, accessories. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm your host as always, Rafia Majid Balogun, and I welcome you to yet another interesting edition of Shepherd's Cave on iBusiness, brought to you as always by Sterling Alternative Finance and supported by Fearless Energy Drink. Now, as you already know, on iBusiness, we are all about promoting progressive entrepreneurs and halal businesses. And this year, iBusiness edition tagged Shepherd's Cave is the segment where we showcased nine entrepreneurs who pitch their ideas to our shepherds in hopes of securing investment funds to promote their businesses. Today, I will be revealing another entrepreneur who made it to the top five. And that person is the Q Empire. Alhamdulillah. And a very big congratulations to you, the Q Empire. You have made it to the top five of this year's Shepherd's Cave edition. Mashallah. Just in case you missed the Q's Empire's time in the cave, please stay tuned as we bring you a recap. Don't go anywhere. I am Jim Okudra at Ojoara Place, the Q Empire. I'm into catching event planner. I need your assistance in my business to promote it and get some equipment I need in the business. Money is not easy to come by, do you know? So convince us. Give us justification of why we should support you. I want to register the business. Can you let us know where you are coming from? So that we appreciate where you are and we can now see how we work with you. I started with cake, cupcakes. Okay. I was selling it 50 50 now. Yeah. So there was not that gain on it. Then later I started. Can you give us numbers? You know, you were selling them for 15 naira. How many? Cupcakes were you baking a day or a week? Okay, I baked 12. Later, I decided at baking big cakes for people just to improve more. So the gain is not that enough. Why do you think that is? Was it the product wasn't good enough? Was it the presentation? Was it the marketing? Why do you think that um, it wasn't well received? Um, it is not the marketing. I, due to the area, I am. The, the, the sales is not a moving world. The area is not a somewhere open. So I think that's the reason why. So you've come, you know, as you rightly, my colleague rightly asked, you're you here to ask for money. How much money? Uh, if I can see 200,000. What do you intend to do with the 200,000? So I'll be able to rent a shop, then buy some equipment and start a business there. Because you just mentioned now, you say one of the limitations you had is the area, the area where you yeah. are is not open. Mm -hmm. So now you want to get a space. Where do you want to get that space to? And what are the potentials that you see there that has convinced you that being here, okay. the business is going to get it at Iyanokpaja. So the place where it is somewhere open and 
I think if I open it there, people passing will know someone is here. Let me stop you and ask you a question, maybe which may help. Uh, this location, is it in a mall or what? And then I think part of what the other my colleagues have been trying to ask is that have you identified a market do you have a target audience so for example it's a mall so people come in and out or for example it's near a school so the students who come in and out will buy it or for example it's near the a secretariat where there's so many people who so what is your target audience and why have you identified this location that's number one let me finish then number two the song you have asked for, have you done your numbers? Have you done your research? Is it enough to rent your shop, to buy you the infrastructure, which is equipment that you need, and to still give you a little working capital, initial money that you need to buy your flour, your milk, your eggs, to make the cakes and all of that? Because the success or failure of any business depends on how nobody can sell it better than you. So you need to imbibe, and you can't say, this is how I made. Nobody is made to be, but you need to develop yourself. That's one area, because this is a golden opportunity. In life, there's no second chance to make a first impression. It's a very valid point. You know what I was actually interested in is that, regardless of how you presented it, the products are here. So it's just that it's like we're looking beyond how you, but if one is to just go by your presentation, um, we will struggle. But I'm just actually looking at your result, mm -hmm. which is the fact that you do have. You do this. Um, so you're clearly doing it. Um, but it's 100% correct. You might, if you can't sell it, nobody else, nobody else um, can. can sell it. Okay. That's interesting. Thank you. Interesting. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And a very big congratulations to the Q Empire once again. Now, of course, join me tomorrow to find out who another top five entrepreneur will be. Till I come your way next time, as always, please stay safe and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Ma salam. Hey guys, are you a vendor or do you know anyone that sells fashion items, electronics, mobile phone, and many more? Altmall gives you access to a wide range of customers across the country. Are you in Lagos, Abuja, or Port Harcourt? This platform is actually for you. Guess what? The customer gets to pay us an installment while we would pay you the vendor in full. Sounds amazing, right? Click on the link below today to get started. Welcome to IO Furniture, your interior design and furniture solutions providers. We are Nigeria's leading furniture manufacturing and interior design company with over 35 years experience. Our clients tell us what they love is our creativity, innovation, design, and most importantly, our quality. IO Furniture, transforming spaces into destinations and supporting Nigerians to live the life they want. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, this is still I Beauty Ramadan TV series. So, Abdurrahman, yeah, what are those things that you're looking up to anticipating this Eid Fund Fair? I mean, what are the things you've missed about it since the last physical one? And you know, what are the games that you're really looking up to? You want to play? Well, majorly, one of the things I've actually missed is seeing all those kids jumping all up, up and about the place. You know, happy, making merry, having fun, connecting with each other, new faces. You know, that sense of merry everywhere, that merry in the environment, the whole mood, you know, it's like I'm feeding off of it, like, you know, like a parasite or something. <laughs> I, I really miss the whole lot of that. And 
that's one of the major things I'm looking forward to see. Of course, uh, you know, the, the talk of war games within the adults, it, it was fun the last time, you know, you males, it, it, uh, separate teams trying to pull each other. Also women, mothers too, it's, it's, it's fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to people have fun. You know? We've seen a whole lot of um, stressing, you know, coronavirus and stuff, gotten people, you know, less interaction. Now we're coming up with um, a COVID-19 uh, protocol themed safety environment, protocol, yes. safety protocols to help people to also have fun. And also, don't forget, if you don't have your face mask, you're not entering. You're not entering. You have to come with your face mask. At all. You have to. You need to stay outside. <laughs> so just try to get your face mask. Of course, I, I prefer um, five pillars bleeds. Mm. I mean, so enjoyable. So interesting. Know. So, and so you also get to learn more. And you get to fun. learn more, you know, about your deal. So right now, we're moving on with. Moving up with the eye charades, you already know the eye charades now, very, very funny. You see how people are just trying, some people can't get a proper description, some people can't give a proper description, two of them now jam each other. <laughs> really I fun mean, on eye charades. Right after that will be the tongue twister segment. Tongue twister, we give you Arabic words to say it as fast as you can. Let's see who's up for that challenge. And then we'll move on as usual with eye trends. We bring to you in case you missed it. You know, things you've missed that have gone viral before. We bring it back to you so you get to, you know, learn more about them and not miss out forever. Yeah. And then we bring to you Style Fusion. We bring to you Alal Vendors for the ladies especially yeah. to help you get stuff you need in the halal way. And then we'll move to apps and gadget review. We bring to you different apps and gadget technological advancement, things you can use to actually upgrade yourself in yes, Islam. In Islam. How interesting, right? So you can use it this Ramadan and even beyond. So you don't have any excuse at all. Yeah. You know, at all. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises due to Allah, the Lord of incomparable majesty. You are welcome to another interesting episode of Aicharids. I am Abdul Alim Ajene Fuja. On Aicharids, you know how we do it. We go into the streets, inshallah, and take Muslim brothers and sisters, two persons at a time. One person uh, becomes the actor in this segment. The other person guesses what the actor, uh, you know, acts. So I give them a piece, pieces of paper. The actor selects one piece from the pieces, sees a word, and act the word for his partner. The partner has 30 seconds to guess the word correctly. If he guesses right within 30 seconds, they win my prizes. So it's going to be the actor today, inshallah. Actor, right? What's your name? Alamide. Alamide. And what's your name? Absalam. Abdesalam. Are you ready? You're ready to act. All right, pick one. Good. Open it. Don't let him see it. Don't let him see it. Let's open it. Don't worry. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Mashallah. Are you ready to act it? And it over. All right, are you ready to guess? Now, there's a rule you do not have to say the word. If you say the word, you are disqualified. Hmm? So ensure you do not say the word. Ensure you guess right within 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Go. If, if you say anything, keep guessing, keep guessing. Yeah. It's praying. Yes. No. Is doing is doing Allah Akbar. That's wrong. Keep guessing. Three. Is that Allah Akbar? Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Attack me. Your time starts now. Go. Dancing. Dancing. Which dance? You can see do it. She's driving Keno. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Okay, no, okay, no, okay, Yes, ma. Oh, she's trying to be? Yes. Yes, yes. Four, three. Okay, no, no. I take B. You have tried. You have 30 seconds your time. Now you do not have to say anything. If you say anything, you are disqualified. Go. Go ahead. Keep guessing. You said what? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to think. Good. 
Rain. Rain. Mm. Snow. Ni. Your time starts now. Now you cannot speak. Go. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Fisherwoman. Fisherwoman. Because she's wearing a job now. She's a woman. She's fishing. Okay, fisherman. Fisherman. Oh, interesting. That's wrong. Mm. 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 The fisherwoman. Fisherwoman. I know. Yeah. You are wrong. Those two bring inside the inside the river. Inside the river. Who? Yeah. You are swimming in the river. No, no, they are not swimming. And she, you cannot even change the way. Woman, the official woman. One, two. Your time's up. Your time starts now. Go. Just guess, guess. Let her. You guess what she's doing. Emma, guess in Cotonche. Emma, Emma saw. Emma saw Cotonche. Kill on she. Oh, welcome. 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 Yeah, she's 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 the, the the two of them have been disqualified. Yeah, I told you not to speak it out. And you still spoke it out. However, you have been disqualified, you have been disqualified. In thirty seconds your time starts now, but you must not talk. Go. Okay no. Okay, no. You are on the way and you are, and you are trying. Keep acting, ah, keep acting, you have thirty seconds. Oh. Did you speak? No. I take me. I take me. That's absolutely correct. This is for you, Cutty Right Foot Limited, for being a part of this. Thanks, very much. Being the persons to get it correctly today, I have a cash prize of 10,000 naira for the both of you, inshallah. I take beer. So that's in honor of Al Haja Rafat Elemora and Al Haja Tesmet Ojolakwe Elemora, sponsored by uh, Senator Benga Ashafa. May Allah SWT bless uh, the souls of our mothers. Let's say Amin. Amin. All right, so cash prizes for both of you. There's a Barakallah of here. iPhones, iPads, iMacs, MacBooks, headphones, speakers, games, accessories. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's me again, Abdurrahman Idris on the street. We are here for tongue twisters. We're going to the street and telling people these Arabic words and let's see how fast they can say them five times. The word for today is as simple as usual. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's very simple. I'll be telling you some Arabic words now and I want you to say those words fast five times. Huh? Sabu hariru min sabu jarir. Sabu hariru khairun min sabu jarir. Sabu hariru khairun min sabu jarir. Sobo Ayru Kairun min Sobu Jeri. 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 I already know when you travel to Egypt, you are going to Cairo, no problem. Sobo Ayru Kairun min Sobu Jeri. 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 Like what Yama did. No problem. 
Sobo Aru Karim Jari, Sobo Karim Karim Jari, Sobo Karim Karim Jari, Sobo Karim Karim Jari, Sobo Karim Karim Jari. At again, I know because we're in Ramadan, everything has to be Karim Karim. Kerim Kerim, Ramadan Kerim. Sabuli Aru, Sabuli Jeru, Sabuli Aru, Sabuli Jeru, Sabuli Aru, Sabuli Jeru, Sabuli Aru, Sabuli Jeru, Sabuli Aru, Sabuli Jeru. Atagbir. Allah Hakba. Sabu Aru, Sabu Jeru. Pick one that is better among the two of them. No problem. Sabu Aru, Sabu Jeru, 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 Sabu Aru, Sabu Jeru. No problem. You have done well. Sabu Aru, Sabu Jeru. Fabu Haram trouble Jerry. Fabu Haram trouble Jerry. Fabu Haram trouble Jerry. Fabu Haram trouble Jerry. God will not let us see trouble. Amen. Oh, no trouble in our life. Oh, Amen. Yes, I will allow care and may Almighty Allah replenish your, uh, replenish your bucket in our boy down to God. My name is Hamida Adebanjo and I welcome you to yet another episode of iTrends. And on iTrends, of course, we share with you a recap of news around the Muslim world that you might have missed on in case you missed it. And we move on to sharing with you fashion, health, beauty and lifestyle influencers and service providers on Instagram that might be of use to you. And then we go on to sharing with you latest technological innovations in the Muslim world on apps and gadgets review. This is in case you missed it. On today's episode, Tanzania Samia Suluhu Hassan, Africa's first hijabi president. Tanzania's new president, Samia Suluhu Hassan, is a good example of an unknown known. Although she had been in public life, both in a native Zanzibar and on mainland Tanzania since 2000, she remains an enigma. Mama Samia, as she is now fondly called, became the country's first female president on March 19, upon the death two days earlier of President John Pombe Magufuli, who ruled Tanzania with an iron fist. Samia was his vice president since they were elected in 2015 on a joint ticket of the ruling CCM. The participation of women in African politics is nothing new and indeed Africa has had female presidents before. Sylvia Kinigi of Burundi who acted as president from October 1993 to February 1994. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in Liberia from 2006 to 2018 and Joyce Banda of Malawi from 2012 to 2014. Ethiopia has had a female president Saleh Wokzwidi since October 2018. Central African Republic's Catherine Samba acted as president January 2014 to March 2016. And Mauritius has had a Muslim president, Dr. Amina Firdaus Gurib Fakim, who resigned in 2018 as a result of a financial scandal. The new Tanzania president, Samir, was born 61 years ago in Kizin Kazi, 
a historic fishing village on the southern coast of Unguja, Zanzibar's main island. Kizimkazi was once a world city but is now famous as a tourist attraction with its pristine beaches and pods of bottlenose dolphins. Her father was a school teacher and her mother was a housewife. She succeeded in life by dint of hard work. That'll be all on this episode of In Case You Missed It. Coming up next is Star Fusion. This is Star Fusion, and on Star Fusion, we share with you fashion, health, beauty, and lifestyle influencers and service providers on Instagram that you might need. On today's episode, we'll be discussing fashion, particularly Lafayas. Lafayas are typically worn by Asian women, and in this part of the world, they are worn by Northern women, but can also be adopted by women of any tribe. Lafayas are outfits that are draped around your waist and can be extended to form as a scarf. They are pretty modest. Pink for Lafaya on Instagram sells all sorts of Lafayas for your casual slay, whatever occasion that you might have, and even for brides as well. Check out at pink underscore by underscore Lafaya on Instagram for all sorts of Lafayas that you might need. That'll be all on this episode of Style Fusion. Coming up next is Absent Gadgets Review. This is Absent Gadgets Review, and on Absent Gadgets Review, we share with you latest technological innovations around the Muslim world. Our today's app is the Sira app. The Sira is an Arabic term that means to be on a journey. A person's Sira also refers to their biography or journey through life, and the Sira al Nabawiya refers to the Prophet Muhammad's biography. Al Nabawiya is an Arabic word for the Prophet. The Sira app is an immersive and beautifully produced storytelling app that narrates the Prophet Muhammad's biography through animation, games, and other interactive techniques. It's perfect for children as well as adults who want to learn more about the life of the Prophet That'll be all on this episode of Apps and Gadgets Review. Do not forget that if there's any news that you think you might have missed, or any fashion, health, beauty, lifestyle tips that you might need, Absolute Gadgets, we got you covered on iTrends. Join us again tomorrow, inshallah. I am Adiban Johamida. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Discovered that altmall.ng has the personalized shopping feature on the website. That means if you are looking for something and you cannot find it, all you need to do is fill the form and a team will get back to you. Take five. Hey baby, how are you? Are you guys done? No, we're not done. I'm tired. I can't wait to... Wait, have you linked your NIN to your MTN line? I've told you to do this thing. You are stalling on it. Give me a fake boss story. See, babe, I don't know how to do it. Linking your NIN to your MTN line is as simple as saying MTN. Just dial star 785 star your NIN and hash. It's so simple. Staying connected to family, friends, and colleagues has never been easier. Link your NIN to your MTN line now. Babe, I've done it. It Welcome back. I hope you've been having fun so far. Trust me, I have been. So, don't forget, if you want to have much more fun, meet us up at Fun Factory Lekki on the day of Eid and the day after Eid. Fun Park. 
Ikorodu on the day of Eid also and the day after Eid. Lots and lots and lots of amazing content that we have lined up for you. Those that can join us, don't fret, don't worry if you're not in Lagos, if you're not in Nigeria. You can join us online. Reach out to the number on your screen right now to make proper inquiries on how to get started. So we have come to the end of the show, but we will be leaving you as usual with I Rhyme to give you that melodious inspiration from wonderful Nasheed artists all over the world. It promises to be much more fun. And as usual, for any of our missed episodes, you can check up on our various social media platforms. Yeah. On YouTube, you can subscribe with iBeauty Islam, Islam channel and Premier Saho Kitchen from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. and iBeauty from 8 p.m. to 9, 9 p.m. So there is no excuse at all, at all. to miss anything. I not mean, you all. can't afford to miss anything. So we would like to thank our viewers, our supporters, our sponsors for making this a success. I'll we say up. a big Jazakumullah of heaven. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Accept our out of Ibadah this only month of Ramadan. Ramadan. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Just ask me, I'll hear it all from the